Hey Libra, I'm Crystal. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, this this going to be a quick reading. Um, we'll see if it resonates. You have good luck. So I feel like luck is on your side. Well, luck is on your side, and then you have healing. Okay, so just know that the angels are protecting you guys while you guys are like in your healing phase. Okay, while you guys are trying to take care of things, you know the ancestors, your spirit guides, spirit team is looking out for you. Okay. Um, they're also trying to bring you in things like, um, let's see what this good luck card is about. The strength card, the two of pentacles is about making a choice or um, you might have a lot of things on your shoulder that you guys are juggling, right? And the universe is like, because you've never changed or because you stayed true to yourself and true to your mission and your life purpose, it's like, you know, and you stayed strong, they're about to bless you, okay? I do feel like you have a lot of stuff going on. You may even be working two jobs here. You may be dealing with a... <clears throat> a Leo, I almost said a heel, a Leo, you have the Eight of Swords, so it's like your feelings, hold on, you have the Eight of Swords, so, and then the Eight of Pentacles, I feel like you guys are working on getting yourselves out, or getting yourselves out of being trapped, right, working on getting yourselves out of being trapped, working on yourselves, taking care of yourselves, doing better, you know, <clears throat> what else is coming, the Judgment, and the Two of Cups, I feel like there's a decision coming up that's going to bring in a lot of peace, okay? It's like you might be juggling, um, you know, the outcome, wondering if it's going to be good or not, wondering if it's going to grow. It will, okay? You have the High Priestess and the Knight of Swords. I feel like, you know... You might be feeling like you've had to been chasing some type of like secret here or chasing the truth, right? With the high priestess, she's about secret. She's somebody who knows it all but says nothing. It's like maybe you guys knew something wasn't right for you, but you kept on chasing it anyway. But I feel like you kind of gave up on that. And I feel like that's what you're kind of letting go of here. And because you're letting go and you're doing the work, it's like the universe is going to bless you. So... You have the Ace of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and the Queen of Cups. You could have a water sign coming in for you, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Or you may have cut off your feelings from somebody, right, with the Queen of Cups. And it's like you are tr trying to heal your heart chakra, healing your, um, <clears throat> your heart. Knight of Cups, Queen of Cups, Ace of Cups. I feel like the universe is trying to bring you in a new beginning here. Something that you're going to love, okay? There is, There could be a new person coming in. It could be a new job coming in. It could just be a brand new start or more love for yourself. Whatever this is, it's like <clears throat> the universe is saying that you deserve this. You have the Seven of Cups. I do feel like you're confused over what you're creating, what you're about to do. Um, maybe you're confused if you're making the right choice. Okay, so let's see if you're making the right choice. The Four of Cups in reverse. So this is saying that you're not missing out on anything. And then you have the Ten of Pentacles, which is yes. This is something that's going to bring in long-term stability, even though you don't see it coming. Okay? Um, I You have to trust the universe and trust your path and trust and know that they're going to bring, it in what, bring in what it is that you need. Okay? Maybe they might not bring in what we want, but they bring in what we need. And when we get what we need, it's like we're kind of like set on a better path right you have the two of pentacles once again you got a lot of stuff that you're juggling there might be a decision weighing on your mind here doing too many things at once you got the queen of wands too you guys might be dealing with somebody who's pretty dramatic clarify that three of cups could be a third party situation that's dramatic here okay and that could have been the thing that you knew was happening behind your back right but with the Queen of Cups, I feel like you're cutting off your emotion for this person and you're leaving this behind. And it's like, um, because you're leaving this behind, something new is about to come in for you. The Hermit. <clears throat> could be a Virgo coming in. The person that's coming in could be a Capricorn as well. This person's healed. Look, Queen of Pentacles and the Hermit. Like, this person's definitely healed. This person's definitely grounded. They know what it is that they want. So I definitely feel like there's a new opportunity coming in for you that's going to bring in look, the Four of Wands on the bottom of the deck. I guess I was supposed to do that. I was meant to see that. This could be a twin flame thing, okay? And with the Two of Pentacles, this might be something that you're kind of juggling. Like, should I keep on going or what should I do? You know, that's like the hardest journey to go through is a twin flame. You have the Justice card. I think, like, things are going to balance out for you, but you're stressing about it. I feel like you're healing it, but then, like, when you think about it, it stresses you out, right? I feel like you're at the point to where you're kind of just like, you know, 
I gotta, I gotta cut my losses because, you know, I don't feel like, okay, well, how are you feeling with the person that you were with? <sighs> the lover's in reverse. So maybe you didn't love this person that you were with, or maybe it was like a karmic relationship here. The page of wands and the five of pentacles. You could have felt alone. You could have felt like, you know, unappreciated. The person that you were with could have ignored you or abandoned you or just made you feel less than, right? But I feel like because of what they've done to you and because of how they treated you, it's like you learned to love yourself. And it was like you had to get your life back together in order to get back on your feet. And I feel like that's exactly what you're doing. And because you're doing this, it's not going unnoticed. To, you know, universe sees what you're doing. So that's why you got good luck coming. <clears throat> Take action. <laughs> I definitely feel like there's a decision weighing on your mind that maybe you haven't completely, like, made the decision yet. It says, now is the time to make a move. Do it. Don't wait. You've been dealing whether, you've been deciding whether or not you should take a step, and the answer is yes. Be brave. Do what you know and need to so you can get to the next step. Now is not the time for hesitation. If you hesitate, the opportunity will be lost. Time is of the essence. Make it happen. Live in space. You may live with this person, and I feel like this is all changing. I feel like it's slowly starting to, you know, parts. I'm getting out of breath. I don't know if you guys are out of breath or something like that, if you guys have been having breathing problems, but out of nowhere, I just got out of breath. You have your guardian angels are with you. It's time to ask for specific signs and sequences so that way they can answer directly. Um, expect to see repeated numbers, flashes of light. Feathers, vivid dreams, or encounters with angelic people who have a good vibe. Your angels will work through others around you to help you. So you might <clears throat> have somebody coming in your life that's kind of like an earth angel coming and sent to help you. And it's like the universe is saying be open and be optimistic, you know, um, to new people that are coming into your life. Um, because you don't want to push away the one that the universe is trying to send to you. This doesn't have to be a lover. This could just be a friend. This could just be a person that's going to give you some type of information or something that you need. And then the job will be done, right? It's like, try to be more open to um, people coming into your life. Doesn't mean you have to let everybody in. And don't let your guard down either. But don't have them so high to where like nobody can get in. The Page of Swords, there might be somebody watching you, okay, with the Page of Swords. This is also about, like, more ideas coming in. The Hermit in Reverse. I feel like you're coming out of Hermit mode. You might have stayed away from, like, people, places, and things for a while. And it was, like, because the reason why you did that, and you may not even know why, was because your soul was calling for some type of aloneness, like they needed to be alone, so that way you can have nothing to do but to sit there and think, and when we have nothing to do but think, we create like the, the most, like that's how like inventions are made, and that's how like shit actually gets started, you know what I mean, when you're bored and you have nothing to do besides sit there and think, you think of a whole bunch of good shit, so I feel like you guys have been learning a lot about yourselves, right, with the page of swords, and I feel like you guys have figured out what it is that you guys need to do, but you still got the Two of Pentacles three different times here. There's something that you're juggling. It could be a third-party situation here. It doesn't have to be. But the universe is saying time to make a decision here because you're just keeping yourself stuck. And there is something that the universe is trying to send to you. And if you don't take this decision now, it's like you may hinder it, you know, hinder the process, which may make it wait even longer. So let's say if it's a third party and you're waiting on somebody else and you're still in, still in a relationship, the universe is saying, you know, let that go so that way you can get what it is that you've been asking for or waiting for. And if you're with somebody and you guys are not changing to try to, like, if you want to make it work, you have to make it work. Speak up. Say what it is that you got to say. But if, you know, the person doesn't do their part, that's up to you on what you got to do, you know, to get yourself out of that thing. i just seen the moon, which is about secrets. Listen to your intuition, drowning in your emotions. I definitely don't feel like you guys are where you want to be, but you're exactly where you need to be, okay? That's with everybody and anybody. <clears throat> I'll get one more card. The Four of Wands. This definitely could be a twin flame reading. Um, 
Okay, so if you're waiting for your twin flame and you're in a relationship with somebody else and you are not wanting to be with that person anymore, but you just stay because it's all that you know, or you're just staying because you're waiting, I feel like the universe is saying it's time for you to make a move and do what it is that you got to do because once you do that, they may, that may energetically start the process for your other person, for your twin flame, maybe to do the same thing, right? Or maybe to like finally come forward to you. I feel like they're not going to come forward if you're with somebody. Yeah, they're going to stay away the page of wands yeah they might just meet somebody else so anyway that's what i got for you guys if you guys like my content please like and subscribe and i hope you have a good day toodles